Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. I'm really excited to be here with Dave today. Uh, Dave Harward, Plan 7 Endurance Coaching. But Plan7Coaching.com is where you want to go check all his stuff out. Now, um, we're going to talk a little bit about lots of things. So when you're on this video or you're on any of these videos, check out the whole series that we're putting together of things. So I've interviewed Dave a lot. He is an amazing resource for everybody. So um, if you have questions, concerns, whatever, post comments below. Uh, he'll know where those are at. He can check them out or he'll have them on his website so that uh, he can answer you and help you out. So I've kind of got a list of things we're going to go through and then we'll be rolling to other segments. So just keep that in mind if you happen to see this. So bike fit, I just want to talk briefly about it. Okay. You know, I was just in Hawaii, watched a lot of people, saw, you know, they just weren't fit right. What do you think is the reason people aren't getting fit? There's probably a lot of reasons. Uh, one of them that would come to mind right offhand is bike fits can be expensive. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard that a num there, there's a lot of critical commentary about mm -hmm. bike fit, like, mm -hmm. oh, you know, what can they do to really help you? Mm -hmm. What's their background? Oh, they're using Retool. Well, that's right. just a nice little cap motion capture system. Mm -hmm. And if the, if the guy doesn't know what he's doing, mm -hmm. it's just a motion capture system. Right. Uh, or somebody like me, I don't use um, a system like that or video capture. Right. And so some people might be hesitant because I don't. Right. Uh, but, you know, where we come down, like with the style of bike fitting I'm doing, it's more of a make sure we're at safe angles and right. then rely on rider feedback. Right. So it doesn't really matter if we have video capture at right. that point. Um, but, you know, the expense is probably a big part yeah. of avoidance. Yeah. Another part would be people just don't know. Right. I mean, they've got a bike, let's go pedal. Right. Uh, it, it's the same thing with running. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm gonna throw my running shoes on and go run. Yeah. And there's a lot that goes on with biomechanics, both running and cycling, where, yeah. you know, best case, you're just inefficient. Worst case, you actually can injure yourself. Right. Um, and then, you know, somebody may have had a bike fit that was 10 minutes and it was not good. Right. And then they've told their buddies, oh, that's a waste of time. Right. When there's actual, uh, you know, a, a well optimized bike fit's going to be 90 minutes to two and a half hours. Exactly. Good. So, some things I'll add on that uh, from my perspective is bike fit is critical. I think it's the number one thing you need to do. Uh, the reason I did so much research on Dave is, is because. I didn't want to go get a bike fit done, and I have done this, let's be really clear, at a shop where it's always like, oh, well, we got a new stem for you, or we want to sell you the seat, and it's a bunch of things that they're trying to sell you, not the bike fit. I really just wanted somebody to focus on me and the bike fit, and then if I needed things, I can go get those wherever I wanted to. That, and the second thing I really wanted was a bike fitter that I knew had fit a lot of people and been after this for a while. Um, if you've been bike, if you had a bike fit done before, or you've done a lot of cycling, you'll be able to notice people. I call them Freds, but you'll notice people that are just out there, but they don't really have a good fit. Like they just, they're just out there to be casual. That's fine if that fits you, but I still think even a casual rider should get a bike fit done just because the experience may, uh, just, is just better for you. Oh, overall, I agree. I mean, even someone who's just out there for fitness, yeah, they're trying to gain better fitness yeah and so if you're optimized you're right. going to be that much more efficient with your workout right over the last seven and a half years i'd probably fit six to seven hundred people yeah and you do get an eye for it right and i'll be riding or driving down the street mm -hmm. and and want to pull over yeah and say, I told my oh, wife, please. they just need an app that where you're just driving by, all of a sudden they pop up, all riders are on it, and you can make comments on, okay, look, your cadence sucks on this, but <laughs> I know I'd get all these horrible comments. So, But anyway, she's like, well, if it was positive, it'd be really good. That's because that's my wife, right? I'm like, well, <laughs> you're right. At least you could say, you really do look great. Your ass looks great, but you need a fit, <laughs> you know, whatever it may be. But anyway, so we won't get sidetracked, but point is, bike fit, amazing. Now, price, people. They always, I mean, 
And bike fits range from all sorts of pricing, right? Let's be clear. So does building your house, so does everything else. But that being said, think about what you're spending or you're investing in a bike and your body. If you have to replace a knee or you have a back issue, whatever it may be, how much is the ultimate cost gonna be versus getting with somebody who can really take you to the next level and have them get you, know, get, get you so you don't have an injury. The other thing is, is that when you're getting fit, you can, and to some of you this makes no difference, but when you can get more power out of your bike and better performance, that means better results. And if you're spending all that time training and your bike fit is what's holding you back, I'm happy about that because I've got a good fit, but for you, that sucks. So when you get with your bike fitter and they do a really good job, you can see behind here, there's a lot of compu trainers. Dave trains with power, which means he can see power numbers differences very quickly, especially if he's training you. Therefore, he's been training me. He knows what my files are like before my bike fit. He'll see my files after my bike fit. If he sees a power difference, good or bad, he'll instantly be able to say, hey Bart, you know what? This happened for you or that happened for you. So, I think that's really cool too. And I think that's kind of where I want to leave it. It's a must. Go do it. There's two things that are the most important thing. Bike fit, power meter. You know, I think they're really, really critical. So anything else you want to add to that? Yeah, I think that uh, everyone can benefit from a fit. Yeah. Uh, find somebody that, that you trust. Find someone who has a lot of experience. Yep. Um, find someone who has a variety of experience amongst different bikes, disciplines. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Uh, just so that they have a more robust sense of, of movement. Yeah, and I will add this. Probably if somebody's bike fitting that has never rode a bike, not the right person. Just throwing that out there. There are some things I think that people can do that don't have to be in the sport necessarily, but that's not one of them. So we'll end to that. Keep out there, have fun, and uh, the main thing is keep cycling strong. Have fun.